Hi, and welcome to the EMC Project Caspian demo. As you can see from the interface here, we're at the logon screen. I'm just going to log on like so. And at the top here, you'll see there's a recommendation to create a cloud compute service. So within the next couple of minutes, I'm going to show you how quickly and easily you can deploy your very own OpenStack cloud compute service. Those of you that have done this before will know that uh, OpenStack has a number of moving parts that need to be deployed and configured to uh, get it fully working, which can be time consuming and uh, prove a little bit complex depending on the environment or the type of environment that you're deploying. So we can see from this front dashboard as well, the underlying hardware status is good, as with the platform. We have 16 nodes in total spread over four racks, uh, and also it gives us an indication as to the total memory and storage that we have uh, running in our Caspian environment here, or at our disposal rather, in our, our Caspian environment. So what we're going to do without further ado is click on Cloud Compute. This will take us through to the screen. You can see the various components that make up OpenStack, and you'll notice that there's nothing allocated at the moment, as already explained. So we're just going to click on Manage. And what you can see here, this is a um, indication of the four racks of Caspian that we currently have up and running. I'm just going to drill on down. Within a rack there, you'll see there's a single brick, and a single brick is made up of four nodes. So we have four nodes per brick, one brick per rack, and four racks. So that's where we get the 16 nodes in total. So what I'm going to do is click on a single rack, and that gives us 96 vCPUs. But I'm going to add a, add a second rack here uh, and uh, bump that number up a little bit for the um, uh, application deployment that we're going to do in the next step. So here you see we now have 192 uh, vCPUs, 96 terabytes of storage, um, uh, 1,024 gigabytes of memory, and 96 cores. So uh, we should be able to do something quite, quite nice with that. So what I'll do now, I'll come down to Deploy Service. And you'll see the various components that make up OpenStack are being installed and configured on the back end at the moment. So that's now all complete. I'll go to the dashboard. And we can see that eight of the 16 nodes have now been allocated. And we can see that, um, uh, that the OpenStack environment is up and running. It's consuming a little bit of the underlying resource, as would be expected. But at the moment, it's literally sitting there, not running anything apart from OpenStack itself and the services uh, involved with that. So what we want to do is actually install an application. So what we've got here, um, using the uh, Cloud Foundry, we're going to deploy a Platform 3 um, application. So I'm just going to come onto the, uh, the log on here. I'm just going to type the command CF push. Here we go, press enter. And using the manifest file that we've already uh, pre-configured, it's now rolling out that application onto that newly deployed OpenStack environment that you just saw, saw us do. So I'll just minimize this window down. Like so, and here we are, it's coming online. So this this particular application um, was for a public beta, and uh, people are hitting the uh, the front end that we've just deployed here at the moment. And we can see the resource being com um, consumed by those users. So uh, slowly, you see the CPU, the memory, the storage, starting to be consumed um, by the users of that application that we just deployed using Cloud Foundry. So as you see, the resource levels here are getting to a rather high level, a little bit too, uh, too high for comfort. So in this first part, what you've seen here, you saw how easy it was to deploy a brand new, fresh OpenStack environment, and very quickly as well, just through a few clicks of a button, using Cloud Foundry through the command line there, we then deployed a Platform 3 application onto that newly created OpenStack environment. What I'm going to show you now is how easily you can then expand that OpenStack environment, and then obviously push out more instances of that Platform 3 application to meet the demand that's obviously currently there. So I'm just going to go back to a Cloud Compute again, click on Manage, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw another rack of resource, of uh, Caspian resource, at the solution to meet the demand. We can see it's installing and configuring again the various OpenStack components. And there we go, the expansion is now complete. So we'll go back to Dashboard. We can see the utilization levels have, have dropped back down again, but this is an average over the actual um, physical resource, the underlying Caspian resource that we have allocated to the, um, to the environment at the moment. So what we need to do now is deploy some more instances. I'm going to just type in the CF scale. I'm going to push out some more instances of the Platform 3 application onto the extra capacity that we now have at our disposal um, on the uh, Caspian environment here. So I'll just minimize that window again. 
and yet we can see the resource being consumed uh, again but it's at a more acceptable level so you've seen two things here the first part here you saw how easy uh, quickly and easily it was to deploy a brand new OpenStack environment literally it was a handful of clicks of the mouse and then what we did is using Cloud Foundry command line we pushed a Platform 3 application onto this newly uh, deployed um, OpenStack environment uh, obviously, utilization level of the application started to get a little bit higher. So what we had to do, obviously, at that point is then deploy um, or, or add additional um, Caspian resource um, and then deploy OpenStack onto that. Uh, once we've completed that, is that, we then, via a CF scale command in, within Cloud Foundry, we pushed out more instances of our application to meet demand. And as you can see, it's averaged out now. It's at a far more acceptable level here. So, the last part of this demo, what I want to show you is uh, if we click over to reports here and then chargeback, as with any company or IT department, whether your customers are internal or external, um, these days quite often there is a mechanism for charging either internal departments or external customers, obviously, um, for the resource that's consumed. Um, so, obviously made up of CPU, memory, network and storage, so the, the usual big four. Um, so what you need is a effective mechanism whereby you can actually monitor and report back how much resource has been consumed over a particular period for the purposes of then charging back to that customer. As you can see within Caspian, built in as standard, you do have this chargeback functionality. So I can see, for example, over the last 12 months, how much CPU, memory, network, and storage has been consumed. Uh, we can break it down to a, a particular environment. We can see what the uh, the monthly cost is involved, etc. And so from this information, you can then use this to charge that particular customer. So this is the end of the Project Caspian demo. I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you very much.